Hello and welcome back to the Quiet Part Podcast. My name is Chris. How's everybody doing? Got a couple more segments to go over today, so let's get into it. Before I do, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. It tells YouTube you want to see more of this content, and I'm happy to provide that. Let's get to it. This from the Daily Wire. Judge rejects effort to kick Trump off a ballot in Colorado under the 14th Amendment. Well, we've already seen this happen in Michigan and Minnesota. No surprise it's happening in Colorado, too. Um, the, the, the facts weren't good. It's that simple. There, there's no precedent that could have allowed for this. And I think the precedent set in the other two jurisdictions were very clear that it showed there was nothing that Colorado was going to do that was right. You know, I don't think it would have gone anywhere. Let's, let's keep going though. A judge in Colorado has rejected a challenge filed by the left-leaning group to remove former President Donald Trump from the state's 2024 presidential primary ballot under the 14th Amendment. On Friday, Colorado Judge Sarah B. Wallace ruled that Trump could not be kicked off the ballot in the state because the insurrection clause of the 14th Amendment did not apply to the presidency. The challenge in Colorado was filed by Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington on behalf of six Colorado voters. Part of the court's decision is its reluctance to embrace an interpretation which would disqualify a presidential candidate without a clear, unmistakable indication that such an intent of that such is the intent of Section 3, Wallace wrote. The ruling comes after similar efforts to block Trump from appearing on state ballots failed in Michigan and Minnesota. Well, there you have it. To anyone else listening that might be of a liberal mindset. You cannot get him on the insurrection clause. I thought it was a crazy idea when they brought it up and I first started hearing about it. When I started hearing the arguments being made in the other cases, I thought, well, these are good arguments. When I started seeing the decisions come from the judges, I'm like, well, there you have it. But we're going to keep seeing these pop up for the next year. So grab some popcorn and enjoy the show, right? The Trump campaign spokesman, Steve and Chung, said the ruling was another nail in the coffin for the efforts to make Trump ineligible to run for office. We applaud today's ruling in Colorado, which is another nail in the coffin of the un-American ballot changes. Or challenges, I'm sorry. These cases represent the most cynical and blatant political attempts to interfere with the upcoming presidential election by desperate Democrats who know crooked Joe Biden is a failed president on the fast track to defeat. Well, they, they do know that, unfortunately. And the best news for us is I don't think they got a way to get him off the ballot himself themselves. As long as he is able to run, Joe Biden will run. And unless they can find a primary challenger, I don't think it's going to be possible. I'm just saying. Wallace did rule that the Capitol riot was an insurrection and claimed that Trump meant to incite political violence. Trump acted with a specific intent to incite political violence and direct it at the Capitol with the purpose of disrupting the electoral certification, Wallace wrote. Trump cultivated a culture that embraced political violence through consistent endorsement of the same. Wait a minute. I heard Trump's speech and he did not do that. Maybe some of you heard Trump's speech that day and came to the same conclusion. He told people to peacefully go to the Capitol and make their voices heard. I don't remember any part where he said, go tear down this building and disrupt this process. He just wanted people to exercise their ability to protest and be heard. That's all he was asking for. I don't know where you're, she's reading intent to show that anything else happened. But I'm glad she said that it was an insurrection, you know. First time anyone actually officially through the court said it was an insurrection. But hey, great. Good on her. Mario Nicholas, a lawyer for the group who challenged Trump's eligibility, said the group planned on appealing. Well, of course they did. Because nobody can let a court case go against them. 
The court found that Donald Trump engaged in an insurrection after a careful and thorough review of the evidence, Nicholas said. We are very pleased with the opinion and look forward to addressing the sole legal issue on appeal, namely whether Section 3 of the 14th Amendment applies to insurrectionist presidents. We believe that it does. Trump, currently the frontrunner for the 2024 Republican nomination, has risen above President Joe Biden in polling from recent crucial swing states. The ruling from Wallace came the same day that House Speaker Mike Johnson announced that he would be making footage from January 6th publicly available for everyone to view. Much of the footage footage that was previously made available focused on protester clashes with police, while widely, widely shared footage from Friday's drop showed people walking down a hallway past the law enforcement in an orderly fashion and even waving to officers. Those, those are some hardened insurrectionists there. Perhaps this footage is why nobody has actually been charged with insurrection yet, including the president, Donald Trump. Nobody, not a single person has been charged with insurrection. Isn't that odd? When are we going to stop allowing for this to happen? When are people going to be held accountable for their speech in this regard. I get it. We can't prosecute them based on their speech, but as a society, we can say, stop this nonsense. You didn't like Donald Trump and you didn't want him to be in office anymore. He lost the election and you didn't like that he lost and thought he didn't. You didn't like that he was challenging the certification of the election. You didn't like that he was challenging these things in court. You just didn't like him. So you thought, well, we're going to find a reason to make sure he cannot ever do this again. And I'm sorry it's taking you two and a half years and lots of money and legal fees. You're still not getting there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Hey, everyone. Before I get into my outro... Do you still love the iconic sci-fi and space opera franchises, but feel like they took a wrong turn along the way? Then the new journey of the Starscape Chronicles eagerly awaits you. Escape to the Starscape. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Yes, today I am talking about a book series from a friend of mine, Jeremiah McRoberts. Uh, He's got seven books already written and more to come. Uh, For that, I just simply want you to visit www.starscapechronicles.com uh, to check out the books, ebooks, and links to free audiobooks. Currently, there are seven books built in the Starscape universe from different perspectives. Together, they establish a galaxy of ongoing adventures that will continue for decades to come. Seriously, everyone, I, I recommend everyone check this out. I personally will be doing the same thing. This is a veteran owned small business. Uh, he If you're listening to me, you know that I like Tim Pool. And one of the things Tim Pool says a lot is stop giving your money to people that hate you. Jeremiah here does not hate you. And he'd be happy to entertain you and keep you enthralled for hours to come in what is a great series. Uh, Go ahead and check it out. All right. Thank you for tuning in. If you like that content and want more of it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. Uh, These are all things that tell me that you like what you see and you want more of it. Um, Beyond that, you can find me at Real Chris Noski on Twitter. You can find me at Patreon.com, The Quiet Part Pod. Uh, There I will be uploading additional content, stuff you will not find on YouTube. Uh, It should be a great time. Check it out. Thank you.